Nick Musk system in vogue. A mandatory eight count, three knockdowns within a round. Do not end the fight. That rule's been waived. There'll be no saving by the bell. It's a scheduled 12-rounder. Buddy Basilico will be the referee. There'll be three judges. Ralph Moser from Las Vegas. Luke Tabbitt from North Las Vegas. Roland Dakin from London, England. The three judges alone will be scoring the bout. Drew Brown Bundini, a character known as one of Muhammad Ali's handlers, was in the ring, just ordered out by the referee, Buddy Basilico. The instructions have been completed. We await the bell for round one. Bundini had been suspended by Ali, you'll remember, for rushing into the ring immediately after Foreman beat Frazier and demanding a fight for Ali against Foreman. Ali was disturbed, called it unsportsmanlike, but all has been forgiven within the past 24 hours. Bundini is back in the corner. The bell for round one, the fight underway. Buckner is surprisingly quick of feet. He will not look like a bad fighter. He's got a good left jab. Ali familiarly circling to the left quickly the way he always does. At 217 and a quarter, his weight seems to have been redistributed. He's really trained for this fight. Redistributed in something like a V-shape. The shoulders broad, the body flatter than it's been. And indeed, he does look to be physically in better condition than he has been since the three and a half year layoff. We'll see. You'll hear tremendous yells from this British contingent all night. Unless there's mock damage being done by Bugner. There you saw the quick left, but each time it did not connect. One glaze, the other missed altogether. So I caution you not to take seriously the roars of the crowd at every Bugna move. There you saw a right. It landed, didn't damage, but pushed Ali back. The thing that's impressed us about Bugner is his open confidence. being the aggressor. He is not fighting in the usual British stand-up style, most of the time defensive. Because, you see, as I mentioned earlier, he learned his boxing here in America and learned much of it from Muhammad Ali. Roll did seem to for a time. Let's have a look at the right that probably cut him right now. You're looking at it in slow motion. There's a left. There's the right that got in there shortly before the end of the first round and produced the blood. They are working over that eye right now. Ali is dancing above us. He is in the corner directly above us. underway and quickly Ali is at him. A good left by Bugner, but Ali's quickness snapping the head back 
caused it merely to glaze. Buckner has never been regaled as a power puncher, but the left jab is quick and he can hook off it. Ali will want to get to that left eye. Left eye is red, it is slightly swollen, and it is ready to be open again if Ali can get to it. Ali with a left and pursuing with a right. Ali trained for this fight mainly on the heavy bag to improve his punching power. Much in the matter of form, and you saw quick left jabs, but watch the way Ali moves that head back just out of range. The timing, extremely good. Oh, this is a, this is a really gallant young man, this 22-year-old Bugner. target, which is the left eye. According to Dundee, you will see stronger punching by Ali tonight because of his work on the heavy bag than you've seen from him since he came back. Less than a minute to go in round two. to come out the aggressor in both rounds so far. Bad tactic for Bugner to lie against those ropes. Got off them there, missed with a right. 20 seconds left in the second round and the blood is pouring out. Two good left jabs by Bugner, but the blood pouring out of the left eye again, over the eye. Troublesome thing over the eye, gets into the eye, causes blindness on the part of the fight. Look at him. up immediately following except on the west coast the andy williams san diego open and for an up to the minute report on that event let's hear from chris schenkel some more direct way to say it. Bugner again trying to be the aggressor. Pouring in on Ali, swinging wildly. Not connecting, but showing that he's after Ali. Two quick jabs did get in, very light jabs. Brawling kind of fight on Bugner's part. But Ali, when Bugner is against the ropes, hot shots him with combinations. 
Buckner is bigger than Ali, actually. 219 to 217 and a quarter. So he can brawl and he can maul. There was a good left gotten in by Ali. Another good left by Ali, and he covers up in the corner against the ropes. But his left got in there. Minute gone in round four. Ali has said he'll do it in the seventh. Good! That was good, clean punching. Another good left by Buckner. He got Ali with two consecutive lefts and then got in a third left. This round, Buckner is scoring cleanly with the left. That left got through again. Oh, a good right by Ali. One minute to go in the fourth round. trying to go to the midsection. You don't see that done too often against Muhammad. That's the time Buckner leaves himself open when he's backed against the ropes. This has been a good round, I think, for Joe. Swiftness of foot as he dances away. 22 years old and clearly, so clearly unafraid. thus far, Ali against Bugner. Ali in the white trunks, Bugner in the blue. punishment on the opponent. Get that beat, you, See, the crowd yelled at that, but Joe did not connect. Flicking left in there, but somehow Ali minimizes it. 
minute and a half gone at round five. A right by Ali up in the area of that left eye. in the fifth round. Oh, good left into the eye again by Ali. Just a sliver of blood there, another left. See the way Ali covers against those blows? Good left jab by Joe. 25 seconds left in the fifth round. For a 22-year-old who hasn't fought the kind of opposition that Ali has, Wagner is putting up a good performance. is right. 
running out. Ten seconds left. There'll be no knockout as promised. Wagner raises his hand in triumph. He lasted through the seventh round. But it's small solace because just before the end of the round, that eye was really reopened again, and they are working on it again. Now let's watch from an isolated angle. Ali working on that cut of Bugner. See how every blow is going in toward that eye? Bugner pinioned in the corner against the ropes. That's where Ali has gotten to him all night. Now, back to Bugner in the corner. Interesting, though, that the British should have raised his arm in triumph at age 22, having outlasted Ali's prediction. <laughs> Round eight coming up. Fight that is now being completely dominated by Muhammad Ali. But Ali could not put the youngster away in the seventh, as he predicted. about boxing it is a brutal thing and every boxer will try immediately to take advantage of any damage he's done to the other fighter regardless of how brutal it is there's the left again the left again they're right above us we have a minute and 15 seconds left in the eighth round. Scheduled 12 rounder, and it may surprise a lot of people by going the distance. Come on, stick it out! Stick it out! Come on! The left jab grazed. Thirty seconds left. In this the eighth round. Ali against the European and British Empire heavyweight champion Joe Buck. Nine-year age differential. Ali, 31, experienced. Well conditioned for this fight. Bugner 22, 48 pro fights, but not against class opposition.
update is here is Jerry Quarry, who last Friday night, a week ago, last night, upset Ron Lyle at the Garden in New York. But Bugner is doing a better job of lasting against Ali than Quarry did. They fought here seven months ago. Ali and Quarry. Quarry had no defense whatsoever against the Ali left. It was target practice all night. Bugner got in a right and was all over Ali. But couldn't take advantage. kid is no chump. We told you that from the beginning. We told you the guy could fight. He didn't trick us. He tricked a lot of other people. We know he can fight. Angie Dundee who was considered by many to be as shrewd a man as there is in boxing. Ali's trainer through all the years. Out of that corner, Bugner did. There can be no question, it seems to me, of Ali's domination of this fight. What is interesting is Bugner's ability to last and keep dancing as you see him doing that. Approach the end of round since Tommy Farr. At 22, he may have the capacity to become just that if he's not now. I like the way he's kept his foot movement throughout the bout. felt it. But still in his battle to survive. Notice the way he still can move around that ring. The blood is pouring out now over that left eye. The cut has been reopened. This time savagely. Now Ali's all over. Pattern continues. 
Daniels, Budner against the ropes, always in trouble. Oh, Ali really got him with a left and a right, always against that eye. Now the eye is a bloody mess. 45 seconds left and there's Budner against those ropes again, finally away. punishment that Ali meted out throughout the round.
again in Bo Joe Bugner's corner, and once again, the by now established group team. Work on that eye. You see it being done. A quick word about next Saturday on ABC's Wide World of Sports when we'll be in Lake Placid, New York for the World Two-Man Bobsled Championship. Teams from Italy, West Germany, Switzerland, and the United States head the list of competitors. Mount Van Hovenberg's one-mile icy run features many demanding and treacherous turns, which are sometimes approached at speeds in excess of 80 miles per hour. Also next Saturday, we'll return to Daytona Beach for the granddaddy of them all, the Daytona 500 stock car race. So join us next Saturday at our normal time, 5 o'clock Eastern and Pacific, 4 o'clock Central time for ABC's Wide World of Sports. The bell for the 12th and final round, the fighters touch gloves. This has been a demolition derby on the part of Muhammad Ali. But he still is frustrated because there has been no knockout. Buckner continues to fight his heart out. Two and a half minutes remain. what Angie Dundee thinks about the scoring of this fight. Angie, how would you score this fight? A shutout? Well, you're a poor judge when you work a corner, Howard, and I'm, and I'm the first one to admit it. I think my win very comfortably won. The other guy made the kind of fight I thought he would make. A great fight the guy made. Well, the crowd has gotten a kick out of it, as you can hear. and Bugna's blood is on Ali's face. course and we'll be back in just one moment.
gentlemen. All right, the announcement of the decision. Unanimous, you know what it is. Judge Roland Dakin scores it 57-54. Judge Lou Tabbitt scores it 56-53. And Judge Ralph Mosa scores 57-52. The winner by unanimous decision, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad, the first question I have to ask you in all candor is, did you train too hard? Did you leave your fight in the gym because the kid was tough? Well, uh, you all said that and the british they tried to play it up right angelo that this wasn't no match Every this time fellow was i had to train hard uh yeah i see i was right in having my weight down if i was slow tonight win 225 26 like i usually do it's a possibility <laughs> he would have outmaneuvered me so i was ready for this one i might have trained a little too hard but i got by pretty good were you surprised by the relative closeness of the scoring not really. Uh, I've I kept asking Angelo at the end of each round how was it going. He says she's winning, but it could be close, but you're winning. Then I looked up and saw Sammy Davis Jr. ringside, unannounced. And when man this great takes time out to come to see you, how can you lose? They're cheering, of course, because Joe Bugner is leaving the ring. Angie, you said your man was pitching a shutout. Well, I thought he did. I mean, the voting don't make a damn bit of difference. An inch is a mile to me, but we won, and nobody tricked us. The guy was a sucker. I knew the guy was a good fighter. That's why he trained that hard. All right, last question. You have to be disappointed that you couldn't make your prediction stick and knock yes, him I out. Yes, I tried to get him in seven, but better than I thought he was. I actually thought I could get him in seven. That's why I boldly predicted it. But I'll get him next time. Okay. Good luck. Congratulations on the victory. So long, Sammy. Thank you, Angie. That's the story from ringside at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Ali, the winner over a courageous Joe Bugner by unanimous decision. Now let's go back to Jim McKay at Daytona Beach, Florida.